Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Teleglitch, Die More Edition. We are in the Saw House, or the Necrotic Research, uh, Necrotic Tissue Engineering. And I have a feeling we're gonna get attacked right away. I'm not entirely, oh crap, it's these things. See, the teleporter is right here, but we need to, we need to open the doors. Now, I have to be really careful here. Because there will be probably enemies coming. Note by the Biology Administration AI protocol. The plastic death tree has grown its roots through the outer layer of facility armor and thus breached the biological isolation barrier. The tree roots them, uh, themselves currently block the entrance of any potentially deadly microorganisms. But this breach of security must be neutralized as soon as possible. If a herd of Medusa 1C native amoebas were to discover the set of roots, they could possibly... They could possible... Enter the facility. Sounds bad. Okay, where are the enemies? I can hear them. I can hear them. Oh, that's a zombie. That's alright. That's just one zombie. What the hell is that? That looks kind of cool. It's like a... Is that the death tree? I don't know. AI emergency. That's it. We're doomed. All the mutants we sent against the zombies have been massacred and then they keep coming. I realize I should have taken my vacation early. We are running low on ammo and must decide to stay here or... I guess he was killed. Oh, uh, just a pipe. Well, that's good, actually. It was a dead end, so I know I'm on the right track here. Uh... I gotta be careful not to trip any of those pipes. Uh oh. Huh? Ah. Oh, there's another one there. Whew. Man, my health has gone down. Well, no more um, med kits. So that's good. Okay, it's those big things. Uh oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And we're dead. See, I wasn't paying attention to what was coming behind us, and we're dead. Just before you die, you remember the smile of your love, and it makes you smile as well. This was a good day to die. Oh, that was actually a rather nice message we got um, compared to usually what we get. <sighs> Unfortunately, we're dead. And that's it. I have to start over. Now, the thing is... We can start from level 3, for example, or 3B, because I've got already gotten to level 6 or 5, I think. I think 5. So, however, if we do start here, we start with a sort of random assortment of weapons, which I'm not sure would actually be as much as we would get normally. I don't know. Hmm. You know, if we play through everything normally. But let's try. Maybe we can do this like this. Storage cabinets marked. I want a nail gun. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Just die, you bastard. Damn. Well, they dropped lots of canned meat, so that's good. Oh, crap. I'm gonna knife this guy. Alright, um... No, I don't want to make anything. I can't make another plate yet. Teleporter location, excellent. And there's three... ...things over here. Wow! Wow! That is awesome. Look at all this stuff. I like it. And we can make a detector and nothing else. Oh. Kogatox killer. We already read that. Now well, let's go up here first. I hate these zombies. They're sort of predictable, but then again, not. They're horrible. Damn, we were doing quite well. But that's the nature of the, this game. Right, let's try to kill these guys. With a teleglitch! <gasps> Without actually killing ourselves. 
<laughs> Here's something com comforting for you to remember. Nobody dies without their last breath. Everyone has this one chance to still be a part of life and breathe out their last lungful of air. Like saying a goodbye. You're dead. Huh. Well, let's try again. Let's go for facility support systems. Well, we still got pretty good stuff. Damn, and to think we died just after looting three crates in a single room. Damn. I can hear something. Software security alert. Security systems inaccessible. Software sof uh, security software error. Identifying error. Error impossible to identify. Security software unexpected changes detected. Verifying. Security software removed. Shutting down terminal. Hmm. There's something walking there. I think it's one of the guards. I hate those things. What? Where is it? There's nothing else up there. It must be in one of the rooms nearby then. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, that was quite cool actually. If I didn't shoot, the other guy would be shooting towards me but hitting his buddy. So that would be quite, uh, quite amusing. The poison plants have started growing nicely, and I am especially ex exited about our very own plastic death tree. I love feeding her fresh plankton and seeing how she feels out her surroundings with the long hairs on the trunk. The tree bar can be harvested later as a resource for poisonous plastics, but should be completely safe in its current state. Weird. Right. MG bullets. Brrr. Look at these tunnels here. What's all this? It's a dead end. That's cool. Ugh. Ugh. Well, at least I can be a little more accurate here. Because they have nowhere to go. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is a very cool... ...and interesting area. That sounds bad. I knew it. What the hell is going on there? I don't like the sound of it. It's those big zombies, I think. Uh, I think I should have checked that area as well. There's another door there I haven't checked. No, you don't. What the hell is going on? Oh, they're back here. Well, this is locked, so what I have to do... It has been reported that live people eating Militech canned meat have received improved constitution and durability, possibly because of the chemical enhancers that make organic tissue more dense and thus harded... Harded to damage? Hardened, I guess. Side effects include increased aggression and sex drive. Um, now, what I can do is find a switch somewhere to open those gates over there. Or a computer, I don't know. Uh, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Might be a bad idea, of course, but hey. Right, there was another door here we haven't checked. Oh, there we go. Tiny little door for tiny little people! Well, come over here, then. Oh, shite! I'm already out? Oh, crap! How many are there?! Jeez! How many of those things are there? Holy crap. Well, that wasn't good. See, that's the problem. If I played from level 1, I would have a lot of pistol ammo by this point. And now I don't, which sucks. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, this area is bigger than I thought it would be. I don't really want to go to the teleporter just yet. To all facility workers by Protectivity Monitoring Administration AI Protocol, final warning. The buzz around the new shotgun-based version of the nail gun has not helped the situation, and I still see reduced productivity in sectors 3 to 9. If unauthorized scientists do not stop experimenting with these guns during work time, I will have to ask AI Motivation Protocol to apply additional unpleasant motivation methods to, uh, for compliance. Thank you and have a constructive day. What do you mean, unauthorized scientists do not stop experimenting with these guns during work time. If they're unauthorized scientists, they do not have work time. 
Because <laughs> they're not employed here. No. Okay, so this... Alright. This area is blocked. I like these uh, orange things. Machinery and such. Looks cool. Is there a secret area here? No. Alright. So I don't want to go near those pipes. Horrible things. Ugh. Die, you little bastard. I actually want to use a med kit. Yeah, it's not going great. And I still can't make a plate. And that's why I don't like uh, starting from, you know, a higher level than one. I like to just restart and that's it. Even though it might get tedious for the Let's Play for you guys and gals who are watching. But, you know, I don't know. If you like watching this, then maybe not. Alright, so now we can go back to this place, which actually leads to the teleporter somewhere. Ah, nice. Microchip. And another microchip. Detector. Ah, the teleport as well. Uh, emergency teleporter. Teleports you to starting position just before death and repair some brain damage as well, which is kind of cool. Well, I'm going to make the detector first. Um, I'm actually going to make the nail gun because I don't have any... Um... Um, pistol ammo anyway. And let's make the nail gun too. There we go. So what does this say? Uh, no need to check the air purification anymore. We found the cause. A goddamn zombie and had got itself stuck in the engine. Must they be allowed free movement training absolutely everywhere? Alright. Well, apparently they do. Alright, I've got a... Oh. Why the hell? What? Why the hell do I have to use that much? Well, let's make, uh, let's use one of these then. What the hell? I just wasted loads for a bloody heavy rifle. I guess it's not bad, but I could have gotten it somewhere else. I, I will doubtfully live as long to actually use it. There we go, that's much better. Damn it. Uh, okay, the pipe has nothing. There's a meat trap. Alright. Uh-oh, I can hear zombies. Ow, oh, there's only a few. You know what? I don't want to waste so much health. There. Right. Shotgun shells. There's a bloody pipe there. Oh, thankfully not trapped. Well, I guess it's not really trapped. It's just, you know, full of zombies. Ah, there's the gate control. That's actually what we need. There we go. A molecule size has, uh, has deemed has deemed perfect? Since it is so small, it can't pose any threat to humans. Any poison, radioactive particle, or other seemingly dangerous substance would not uh, just not have the volume. And what is known as life is always larger than a single molecule. Therefore, danger of any contamination should be theoretically impossible. It's just... I don't know. I know I'm complaining about the backstory all the time, but it's just... It's a bit cheesy, difficult to believe. <clears throat> I always say... Uh, oh yeah, we have to go to the main gateway. You know, if, if, if you're not really comfortable with a subject, uh, I would say don't try to make a... You know... Story about it, because it's probably going to be full of inaccuracies and such. Oh, hello there. I'm just going to ignore you guys. Well, I guess I'm not gonna. Oh, crap! Let's use the meat trap. Now that will attract them. Come on! Well, that was not as good as I was hoping. Ow. Ow. Oh, these things are horrible. Damn. What the hell happened with that meat trap? It was useless. Should have worked far better than it did. Brilliant, another pipe. That's all I need. 
Um, oh crap, more pipes. Hello. Nine millimeter clip. Another zombie that's almost dead. It's over here. Militech canned f meat for reactivated units is packed with vitamins and other beneficial ingredients that help to preserve and feed the reactivated unit. Contained in a can made of high-grade Militech steel, the product is designed to be fresh forever, although guarantees are only given for the first 200 years. Well, an MRE enthusiast's um, wet dream, I guess. No, get off. I can hear something moving. I think this is hardware. Yep, it is. Oh, great. This place is completely trashed. Look at it. How the hell did it not die from a double... Oh, there's the teleporter. I don't want to go here yet. I want to explore everything first. And then go there. Uh-oh. I can hear a big mutant. There's more stuff here. Raffle ammo and explosive. I don't know what I picked up there. Oh, crap. Med kit. Anything else? Uh, yep, over there we have to go. See, despite dying, this game is so much fun. I can hear them up there. Ugh. That's loud. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Get out of here. I actually gotta use a med kit. Uh, there we go, that's good. Uh, this way. Would be nice to have a mini-map up there, but oh well. This game is just fantastic. It's pretty damn awesome. Right, so what is this? It's a nail box, and that... I have no idea, probably some ammo or something. What does this say? We need a squad of mel welder robots down here. Some of the water tubes have decreased pressure and are probably leaking. Also, check the main air purification system engine. It has been reported to be making a strange noise and the smell of turpentine seems to be stronger than usual. Alright, let's go! Bang! Lovely. I have to pass through necrotic tissue research department next. It is an interesting place because the nature of death is researched here. What makes one alive? Electricity flowing in our neural tissue or something else? Either way, a chip to the head solves the philosophical problem with a practical solution. A working body that does not ask for pay. And in case of our research here, a dead soldier programmed to kill. Fortunately, the problem of a chip in the head can be solved with a bullet to the head. And I intend to use that solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we can survive, even though our supplies are not really that great. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.